in Inkscape, the measure tool isn't something that somebody uses often, right? I didn't use it when I started using the software. I used almost all the other tools, but the measure tool, I just couldn't get around it. And I thought I'd help you with that because I actually got to study the tool and it actually helps in drawing and especially when you're designing in perspective, it helps when you're designing in perspective. And I will make a video on that, but for now, I'm just going to introduce to you the measure tool. So. Basically, what the measure tool is, it, it acts like a ruler, right? Like if you click on it here and you draw a line, see it acts like a ruler. Basically, in this case, a protractor, but then you can use it to measure certain angles and do certain measurements with. So basically, I the icon you saw on the thumbnail of this YouTube video, I created that using the measure tool. Although it can be created manually and faster to be precise but this is showing you how to use the tool so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a rectangle hopefully it already has just the stroke open and i'm going to increase the opacity like that and i'm going to make sure to turn this path this object into a path so it have the nodes at the four corners and then the next thing I do is I'll grab the measure tool and pick up a certain position from here to here and allow that and come here and click on convert to item right so like now this becomes like part of the Inkscape document because normally if you if you use the measure tool and you go to another tool as soon as you go to another tool the measurement that you did will disappear so we do this and this it tells you me that I can now get rid of this ruler here and I would have two extra nodes here so you see I can delete this one and I have a straight line there so you can use it to do much more complex things but for this introductory case I just thought I'd show you that you can actually let the line be on there after you've changed the tool so basically uh, to do so basically to do what I did there you just have to add a few stroke lines here and that would be it. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more content like this.